343 just released a Halo Infinite development update and it's going to be missing some key features to the launch of Halo Infinite. But they will be coming in later, but when? We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So the Halo news has been super quiet this week. And then like I released a video, I'm like, I found something, I made it, put it up today. And then as soon as I put it up, I went to go take a shower, come back. And when that happens, a Halo Infinite development update goes live. So I gotta make a video on this one now. So the grind is real. In that 30 long minute development update, they give you some really good feedback from the flight as well as what's gonna be coming and what's gonna be missing for the launch of Halo Infinite and how the release date sounds to be coming very soon. And I'm gonna point out some details that were in this video that were nice little hidden gems that we haven't seen before about Halo Infinite. Really exciting stuff. So if you guys like these news and informational videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. Okay, first I'm going to hit you with the facts and then we're going to go into some of the analytics and then some of the nice little Easter eggs that were left for us in this video. So they opened up talking about the most recent flight that we had and talking about some of the performance improvements that they've made to the game. They said for PC, expect a 20% performance increase to the game. So I'm all for that as a PC player. They also mentioned that the next flight will be having 4v4 PvP as well as big team battles. So they also mentioned that more people are going to be invited with this flight as well. And it's also going to contain everything that was in the previous flight like the bots and the training mode as well. Now they didn't provide any kind of information on when to expect the next flight. My expectations would be soon after the Labor Day weekend in September. That would be probably either like the 9th or the 16th of September is when I would expect to see the next flight for Halo Infinite. As in the US, Labor Day weekend is a three-day weekend it's on national holiday people take that time off though soon after that holiday is when i would expect to see it happen next is kind of the more heavy news that we got out of this whole video i think this video was mainly just to announce like yeah there's some things that are not going to be there at launch one of those features is co-op campaign that's not going to be part of halo infinite at least at launch they said now they did confirm that split screen co-op will be there for all the consoles it won't be there for pc though they did mention it's something that they're looking forward to possibly adding in so you can still split screen co-op with all your friends. I believe split screen is with just one other player, so you can dual screen, split screen, and four player online co-op, I think is the intention for Halo Infinite, but I haven't really heard any confirmation about that. But they did mention that they're looking to add co-op campaign with season two of Halo Infinite. The next heavier bit of news right here, guys, Forge is not gonna be there at launch again for a Halo game, but this one, it's even gonna be worse. We're gonna have to wait six months, it looks like, for the release of Forge. As they mentioned, they're looking to have a goal of season three to be the release of Forge in the game. Now, Joseph Stanton did clarify saying that with seasons, they look to do about a three month cadence with these seasons, so that all these features are gonna be coming in 2022, campaign co-op being in season two, so about three months after launch, that's gonna be added in. And then for season three will be six months after launch. That's when we'll see Forge being added into the game. This is a major hit. I was really was expecting to see Forge being there at launch for Halo Infinite. But I guess I kind of would just compare this to the MCC launch on PC where we had to wait about six months until Forge was added into the PC version. Now, Joseph Stain did say that the Forge tool is looking super advanced. That's a direct quote from him saying it's super advanced. Maybe that the Forge tool is just so large and grand in scale that to do it properly it just needs a bit more time in the oven but like a whole six months extra that's pretty rough man also no co-op campaign for the first three months of the release that is really rough as well that's something i would totally expect to see that launch as well in some capacity maybe not like four player split screen like co-op or something like that but at least being able to do it. They mentioned something about like how the saves and like the old hardware kind of gets in the way of things as that's one factor of why they had to delay this feature to come to Halo Infinite. Now I've been seeing people again coming back up online saying delay the game. They need to delay the game. This needs to be there at launch. And guys, like I understand your sentiment that like your feature or the things that you really want within Halo is not going to be there at launch. They also got to remember like what they said within this video. This is only the beginning. Launch was only the start of Halo Infinite. There will be more campaigns, there will be more content drops, more Forge objects added to make you be excited about doing some new things within the game. This isn't your traditional Halo release. So to me, it kind of sounds like maybe like after the first year after release, we'll be right up to where we need to be for where the game needs to be for the features and content that needs to be there. And so I 
pretty sure it'll all be kind of forgotten about the mediocre launch of Halo Infinite. Of course, don't forget we still have a full-fledged multiplayer and campaign we still need to go through, which we did get a chance to see some glimpses of some new stuff within this video that I wanted to point out for you guys. So within this development update, they showcase what it's like working at 343 right now. We have some people in the office, some people looking through a webcam through like a Teams meeting to kind of see like how things are working. One thing I wanted to point out is with this intro to Halo Infinite, the Discover Hope trailer, which is the beginning of the game, one thing I wanted to point out is the lighting is very different within this right here. So take a keep a close eye on like the shadowing right here, how the harsh lighting right here on the face of the pilot and things like that. Now let's look at Discover Hope from 2019. Much softer lighting and also the shadowing is completely different. A little more realistic as this would probably be more of a low power mode compared to what we saw within this trailer right here. Now the colors do look a little washed in the new version. As you can see, it's a lot more blue tones being showcased in here, but I think this is more just like transcoding of looking at a screen at an angle then recording it with the camera and then rendering that it's just things can maybe change the color tones of the video right here you can see a new section which looks can be pretty similar to what we saw for the campaign trailer where you press the button and ashram comes up i think this looks like kind of like a forward base kind of thing that you took over from the banish in the way because you see like this green box right here i think they're testing out like draw distance on the outlines and lighting because you can see as he walks away the lighting totally changes right there kind of pops in that's the kind of stuff that they're testing out right now. And right here, guys, I think this is the same scene that we saw back in the 2020 campaign reveal in a different lighting, new graphics, new weapon right here, by the way. Well, this is our first time getting to see the campaign since the 2020 reveal. And I believe this is the shock rifle that we've seen previously in toy reveals. As you can see right here, here's an example of a toy that we've seen this plenty of times throughout the years of this rifle being showcased keep an eye on the reticle and that kind of circular barrel on this weapon now let's go back to the campaign and you can kind of see the outline right here in the lower right it's covered by the youtube play bar but it's very similar and so i think this is our first look of the shock rifle within halo infinite which is super cool and take a look at the far left what does that look like to you to me this looks like a sentinel beam within halo infinite so we haven't seen that at all either so we have that weapon looks like to be confirmed within the game in some capacity. And right here, I do believe we get a chance to see the shock rifle in action against a sentinel within Halo Infinite. As you can see that this reticle over here, very similar shape to what we just looked at. And keep an eye on the rifle that gets shot right here. You can see it's like a shock kind of effect that happens right there. Very much what you would expect the shock rifle to do. I mean, that's what we've been seeing from all the toy leaks. So I'm thinking that's what the shock rifle looks like playing against a sentinel within Halo Infinite's campaign, which I mean, oh my god, dude, just give me this game already. Like, I want to play this so bad. Here's another look of the shock rifle over here on the left screen. If you want to keep a quick eye on that. You can see it kind of getting reloaded right there a little bit. Again, you can see how it's pointing out that reticle size right there. So I'm guessing that first thing that we looked at right over here on the right side, I think that's the reticle for the shock rifle. It's got to be. There's another shot from Discover Hope right there. You can kind of just see like how the new Master Chief just looks so much better, even on top of already looking amazing previously. So if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out my videos right here. I got a link to all my playlist videos for all my Halo news videos I've been uploading daily about. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.